Hey all of you, hope you guys are great. So in this video, we're going to build the script for our deploy pool. In the last video, we have built the script of deploy token. And before that video, we have worked on our Unisop contract. So I believe that your local blockchain is running. You haven't stopped your local blockchains. And we have deployed the contracts, both the contract of Unisop and the deploy token. And we got the addresses here. We have simply copy and paste the addresses here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply grab this entire Unisop contract addresses and I'm going to utilize it in the deploy pool. So come here and we're going to paste here because we need the addresses to create a pool. Same thing we have to do for the token. So let's come here and we have to get the token addresses, the three token addresses we have deployed in the last video. And that's what we're going to paste here. So hope this is what you have to do. Don't stop this local blockchain. Otherwise, the addresses will get changed and you have to redeploy that and you have to do this configurations. OK, so let's bring the terminal down. This looks good. And now we can start writing the code. OK, so let me close this one. And now we can start writing the code here. Let's come here. We'll take a variable called artifact. And now we have to get the artifact which allow us to create the pool. So these are the artifacts we're going to use. So we're going to take the artifact of Unisoft V3 factory because that's very important contract. You need to do anything on the Unisoft blockchain, Unisoft smart contract. We'll take this required and this is coming from Unisoft V3 core artifact contract, Unisoft V3 factory sold and we have the JSON ABI. This is the one more and we need the non fungible position manager. And that's coming from the same place. Unisoft V3 periphery artifact contract position manager dot soul. And we have the JSON file, the ABI. So these are the two ABI we need. OK, so make sure to get the exact ABI which we are using here. And if you haven't found, make sure to get it from the startup file or I will provide you in the article which I have in my website. So go to there. There you will find all the descriptions, all the instruction, the way you have to utilize it. OK, so we have the artifact. Now let's come down. We're going to take a variable. We'll call it contract and we have to import a couple of packages contract. We have to import big number and that's coming from Ether. Here we're going to import the bin. We'll take this required and it's coming from big number JS. So this is the package which allow us to convert. OK, so make sure to utilize it. We'll take another variable and now we have to configure this big number JS. So we'll say bin dot configure and that we have to pass the exponential art and this is the value which we have to pass. And again, this data I'm getting from the package itself. Let's take a variable. We'll take main date. And we're going to connect because as we are testing on a fork net, so you have to get the RPC URL and we have already used that in our fetching price function. So the same URL we're going to provide it here. So let me paste the URL. So let me type it main net Acmele, v3 and this is my API key. Don't use my try to use your own. Otherwise, if you will have too many requests on the same API, your code might not work. So use your own API and this is the API which I have got from Acmele and it's free to get. So when you will create your account, you will get a free RPC URL. And that's why I'm showing you all. OK, and now here I'm going to build the provider because we need the provider to connect. So we'll say new ether dot provider and that we have to simply pass the main net RPC provider. Come here here we're going to build the provider. <laughs> so there is a one more method. We have this one for creating a provider and this will create a non address provider. It will work in both way, but try to avoid it if you might encounter some sort of error. So that's why I have taken that main it approach. So let's come here. Let's build the function. We'll say encoded price. It will take the reserve one and reserve two. So as you all know that when it's come to providing liquidity and when it's come to providing price to the token, it's happened on the terms of a square. So there is a square method on the Unisoft, which is very complicated. Still, I'm very confused, but it's working. So this is the exact code which I have found in the Unisoft TypeScript and the same one is I'm using here because I still a little bit confused on this, the way it's work, but it's work. So it will take the price to price the token we want to the price of the tokens. And here we go to build the logic. We'll say return big number from and inside that we have to simply take this the package we have taken reserve one dot and we have to call the string. We have to call this div reserve dot string. 
we'll take this one square and we're going to simply call this multiply by the bin 2 dot prop then we have to take this internal value 3 and we have to take this to string and that's it so this is the function which convert the price which you want to assign to your token into a square form from here we're going to create a variable cost non-fungible position and we have to simply deploy the contract get the contract okay and then we have to pass the position the abi address position manager address and we have to pass the abi which we have inside this and we have to pass the provider so this is the contract of non-fungible position manager let's take another variable we'll say factory and now we have to get the factory contract so we have to pass the address of the factory we have to pass the factory abi and we have to pass the provider that looks fine to me let's come down we have to take this async function inside that we're going to call this deploy pool and it will receive a couple of parameters. So this function will deploy our pool. So it will need the addresses of the token. So token 0, token 1 and we have to provide the fee and the price. That what is the price we want to take when someone will swap the token. Whether you want to take 3, 0.3% or 5% or 1% and we have to define the price which we want to assign to the token. So let's come here. Here we are going to simply take a variable. We'll take this honor and we call this ether.getSigner so this will give us the honor address we'll take this await non-fungible position manager and here we go to call this connect we have to connect the honor and then we have to curl this create and initialize pool if necessary token 1 token 2 and p and the price and here we have to assign the object the gas limit is going to be 5 And that's pretty much let's come here we'll take another variable pool address and here we have to take the address which we'll have inside this factory dot connect and it will pass the honor it will say get pool and this will give us the data of the pool so and then we have to pass the token one token two, and we have to simply return the pool address from this function hope this makes sense to all of you guys so that looks pretty fine to me let's take another function async function it will say main and here we go to initialize that so we'll take a variable const will say show up Roy because this is the name I want to give to the pool and let's deploy that so we have to call this deploy function deploy pool and then we have to pass the data so we have to pass the address of the Schweb the token we have to pass the the other token address and we have to pass the fee we have to pass the encoded price square and right now I'm going with 1 1 and the reason why I have taken this ratio of the pricing 1 1 because I want to be into the range I don't want that my pricing of the token go out of the range there is a lot of concept in that but for the time being just focus on this just provide the range of your token pricing is to 1 1 so it always be in the range and there is no high fluctuation in the price of the token and that's the pricing let's come here and here we have to simply close that here we go to console log out the address of the deployed pool so once we deploy that we'll get an address and that address is the unique identifier of this particular pool on the Uniswap exchange so let me simply print that address and here we go to write the script so this is the one script we have to run in the terminal so we'll say network localhost script dash deploy pools dot js and here we have to build the main functions we have to say then prop dot exit we have to catch an error if everything goes wrong and here we have to log the error and we have to shut the application politely and that looks pretty fine so try to understand what exactly happening here so these are the three addresses we got when we deploy the tokens and these are the addresses of the Uniswap contract we have required in this pool deployed so these are the two data must to create a pool and here we have the artifact here we have the packages we are importing this is the main net and here we have this encoded price square which will give us the price create the pricing of our token this is the non-fungible position manager contract this is the factory contract and here we have the deploy functions and here we are passing this getting the order getting this data initializing that and here we are initializing the token one token two and the fee so make sure this is what you have to provide in this.
in the factory connect and from here we are getting the address of the pool address and that's looking absolutely fine and here we are consoling log the this pool address so hope this makes sense now let's deploy and let's see everything's working fine or not and here i have to do the changes i have to remove the s so we grab this one open up your terminal and make sure that your local blockchain is running you haven't stopped this if you stop this and then you try to redeploy it will throw you an error so i haven't stopped this my local node since i'm deploying the contract so first we deploy the uniswap contract then we deploy the token contract and now we are deploying the pool contract so let me simply clear that and here we go paste the script and hit enter so just wait it's deploying and if everything's went successful everything is not good here we got an error and this error is coming from http provider error okay so we have to see what's the problem we have in the code deploy our deploy pool script we were getting an error and what i did i simply restarted the applications closed my visual code studio closed my internal blockchains deleted the artifact and i found that everything's working fine and i have no idea that why i was getting that error still i'm getting this error sometime i'm getting sometime i'm not getting so i don't know why i'm getting this weird behavior in our rpc url but right now the method we have written it's working absolutely fine so if you get an error try to delete the artifact restart your internal blockchains redeploy the all the contracts and then it will be working fine so let me show you what i'm going to do now so i'm going to simply clear my terminal and i'm going to initialize the hard hat node this will initialize my local blockchains and now i'm going to redeploy all the contract so first i will start with this uniswap contract so let's come here let's redeploy that so where it is this is the one we want to deploy and uh, just wait and you can see this is the contract got deployed successfully all we have to do is to grab this entire address copy and that's what we're going to paste right up here in deploy script so i'll i'll simply come here i'll take this one i'm going to simply replicate it not replicate i'm going to simply replace this so here i've replaced the contract addresses now i'm going to simply clear this and i'm going to deploy the tokens the token script we have here so just wait it's working and here it's working fine we got our token addresses simply grab that one and that's what we're going to simply replace here paste and that looks fine now we're going to run the script the script we were getting an error so this is the script we're going to initialize i have not done any changes in the script you can see we have written the same piece of code here and everything's working fine so sometime i'm getting this error sometime i'm not getting this error i don't know why i'm getting this weird weird behavior so let's try to deploy this one so this is the script deploy pool this is the script we want to deploy and hit enter inshallah this will work fine so just wait and you can see this time it work so it's went through here we got the address of the pools which we have deployed locally okay so this time it's worked fine so, okay so i believe that you guys have fixed this issue still if you have any issue try to deploy the contracts again and again i don't know why i'm getting this weird problem in my computer and i believe that you guys will not have any issues but i'm getting at the time of recording i'm getting this weird error message okay so now it's worked but in five attempts i found that the three times it's working and two times it's not working so right now it's working so i will go in this approach so if you get an error do leave in do let me know in the comment section so i'll come with a better script modify one and in that we can try to tackle this issue but right now it's working so let it go like this okay so it's working fine so simply we have to do is simply grab the address of this and we're going to paste the address in the because we need this address so all the address we have taken here these are the old addresses don't need to worry about this the only thing we have to worry about this this address because whatever address we have included this here and here is the optimized addresses just now we have deployed and pasted now what i'm going to do is let's continue working on our on our the other script in the liquidity liquidity script 